If music be the food of love, play on. Give me excess of it. So we're standing in the upper gallery of Pop-Up Globe. It's a three-storey building which accommodates approximately 900 people. And then one of the things we're most excited about is up to 250 people standing directly in front of the stage. We're in a circular donut shaped building. Uh, there are, behind me is the stage. We're seeing behind us a highly unusual thing, which is 16 boxes, eight on each level, which are directly behind the stage, which are called the Lords and Gentlemen's Boxes. And these are the rooms where, in Shakespeare's day, the landed gentry would come to watch the, to, to watch the theater, as much to see as, and to, as, as to be seen. And above me is a hole in the roof. <laughs> which acts as natural ventilation, air conditioning, and this wonderful thing which keeps uh, everything and everybody in the theatre connected to uh, the real world of what's going on around us. There's ambient sound, there's footage, there's a bit of traffic going by, there's the rustle of the wind and the trees, you feel incredibly connected. And in actual fact, in Shakespeare's day, they integrated the weather, because of course it was in London, when they were performing The Tempest, it would be ideal if there was a storm. Right, because I was going to say we've had lots and lots of rain in the last 24 hours in Auckland. Look, the whole experience is going to be completely unique because this theatre has not existed for 400 years. And there are replicas all over the world, there are many of them, but this is a world first. Work from leading research from a team at the University of Sydney with whom we've worked extremely closely, um, Dr Tim Fitzpatrick and his team. Uh, the building is correct to, to his uh, dimensions by about 10 mil. Now let's just walk down to the next level. Perfect. So I'll follow you. Right, and it's all sort of very raw, isn't it? We can see all the scaffolding and so on. That's, that's going to be like this? Absolutely. It's very deliberately a pop-up structure. It's a pop-up building. Uh, we've constructed it out of 100 tonnes of steel, and there's 100 tonnes of ballast that holds the building in place incredibly sturdily. From an engineering perspective, this is a very safe building. It's a wonderful thing. Nowhere in the building are you further than 15 metres from the stage. So where we are now is probably about 8 metres above the ground level. We're directly above of the stage we're about three meters away from the edge of the stage and all the action that's occurring right in front of us so we've got a beautiful uninterrupted view right okay shall we head down there and actually have a look at the stage and have a look at the area where the ground lanes are going to be let's absolutely okay. do that let me take you down to the stage right in front and so how long did this take to construct device we started the build on january the 5th and from that time, uh, we've had our partner Camel Space has been on the ground and on the site um, with teams of up to 20 or more people. Chippies and our lighting and our electrics teams have been in working at great pace. With the torrential rain, we had sprung a leak or two. In fact, as we speak, we have abseilers over our roof. All right, um, so we're just walking <laughs> through the main entrance space, so this is how everyone gets in, is that right? This is how, in the lower gallery, and for the ground lanes, the main entry is through this door, and right in front of us, the full spectacle of the theatre is, is ahead of us, our huge 100 square metre stage. Now the ground lanes, tell me about the ground lanes. Who are they? In Shakespeare's day, they were notoriously badly behaved. <laughs> Many drunk, and they were called the penny stinkards for very good reason. Uh, we're not going to direct our audience how to behave, um, but look, a little bit of bad behaviour wouldn't go astray. We're just walking across the ground of the theatre and, and up the stairs actually onto the stage. Now just describe the stage because this is quite different from a modern stage, isn't it? Absolutely. Well the first thing that we notice is its size. It's, it's 100 square metres, so it's a very, very large environment. The second thing uh, that we notice is that unlike virtually any other stage, it's completely surrounded by audience. How is rehearsing for a production where you do have audience on all sides and very close. What, what do the actors have to keep in mind during rehearsals and, and also during performances? How is it different to them performing? They actually have to, in addition to performing and to, and to being part of the shows, they have to completely relearn how they perform. The first thing is there is there's audience all around them, 360 degrees. So un, unlike uh, their normal acting practice, they actually have to act side to side across the stage so that everyone, wherever they'd be sitting in the audience, is engaged with the cast and with the, and with the, with the show. The second thing which is technically challenging is that nobody is amplified. There is no amplified sound within the building. So the, the actors need to be able to throw their voices. And the last thing they have to do is they've got an incredibly short time frame to get used to it. We took possession of the building uh, only two days ago. So our cast have had only two days to get used to this space. And what we'll find is that uh, they will relish that space. They will relish the audiences here and it'll be a very exciting thing.